Hey everyone, so today I want to show you some more tools for editing and just talk a little bit more about my workflow when I'm editing a video. We're going to be playing around with in our timeline a lot more today. So from last time we were able to create our sequence and add some clips to our timeline. Now I just want to show you some more about it. So you'll notice in the timeline that there's multiple tracks and you can really see that if I move the video into different tracks. So we have one, two, three tracks. You can even move it more higher and it will create a new track. I'm just going to undo that. And this is helpful. Say you have a couple clips and you want to overlap them. Now you won't be able to see one on top of the other in the actual video, but and I'm just turning my sound off so it doesn't distract us. But if you're say this is really good if you have an interview clip and you want to put b-roll or the footage that goes over an interview on top of the interview this is a great way to do it have one track for the interview answers and one track for the b-roll footage so that's a good workflow thing to to note and then when you're in your timeline you can also edit your clips it's not always easy to get it, to get it perfect when setting in and out points up here in the source monitor say for this clip where I have my wife picking out some beads for a necklace maybe I just want part of this clip starting from right here before she puts her hands down there's multiple ways I can get to that start point and basically erase the first part of this clip one is just by going to the end of the clip clicking and dragging you can see now that it's gone and there's nothing before it or I can take another tool which right now I'm using my selection tool, I can go t to my razor tool, which is like a razor blade, or you can press C on your keyboard to bring it up, and then just click on the clip itself. And you'll notice if I move my timeline uh, selection indicator, you will see that this clip has been clipped. It's been split in two. And then I can take my selection tool, select that first part of the clip, and delete it. One quick other thing you can do is to get rid of any gaps in your sequence. Say there's a couple gaps right here, you're laying down clips on your timeline and you want to quickly get rid of those gaps. You notice that you can actually just select them and move your clips or you can just select the inside of the negative space where there's nothing and press delete on your keyboard. That's a quick way to get rid of any space in between your clips. Now say, let's play through this clip until I'm done with what I want. So she picks a bean. Oh, see, I start moving the camera, so I don't want that. So maybe just where she picks up the bean right there before the camera move. Now I could go in here and drag to get rid of that, or I can use my razor blade tool to get rid of that. Or another easy way to do it is just to select the clips that are later on your timeline and basically put it directly over that clip and it deletes it. So now, this is a really funky montage we're building, but it goes from selecting the beads to the ocean to a sign to the matches that my brother was striking to the candle. So that is a little bit of a, a cool thing that you can do on your timeline to speed up your workflow. Now say you want a different transition. You can do a quick cross dissolve, which basically just blends these clips together, which if you click right click in between each clip and say apply default transition and then I play through this you can see how it dissolves from one clip to the other that's ba a basic cross dissolve but then there's also lots of transitions within your effects window so if you go to video transitions I can go to page peel for example let's put on this page turn and I just do that by dragging over to my clips and Look at that, that's a little page peel. So that's pretty cool. You can play around with different transitions. There is so much more that you can do in Adobe Premiere Pro, but I don't wanna get too far because a lot of you might not be using Adobe Premiere Pro, or uh, you might be interested in taking my full advanced course that teaches Adobe Premiere Pro. And I don't wanna give away all of the secrets in this class just because there's too many to put in this class alone. But I think you get the gist of what you can do with your timeline. You can basically put clips down, you can edit them, you can add transitions. In the next 
video, I'm going to be talking about how you sync audio from multiple devices because when you're shooting video with a DSLR, as I mentioned, you typically will have to sh record audio with an external recording device such as a Zoom H4n. And I'll show you a couple quick ways to sync that audio in Premiere Pro and using some other tools uh, or really whatever video editing application you're using, I'll show you how to sync audio. So enjoy playing with your video. I think the best thing to do now is just to practice editing, practice putting clips one after the other, adding transitions, and have fun with it. So we'll see you in that next video.